This setting tweak in shooting has drastically changed my ability to shoot the ball. So let's dive right on into it. You guys know I do not like to waste your time because your time is as valuable. It is my time. Just don't forget to hit that like subscribe button. If you're shooting with a lower three point build or you're just struggling to shoot at all, let's talk about something that's always been an issue. 2K servers, when you're playing in 5v5 games, you're playing in uh, any sort of online game mode, there's always some sort of latency issue that you're dealing with. Well, 2K has come up with a way in which you can actually fix that now, right? You hop into the jump shot creator. Now, this year they added a new feature into it where you can set your physical visual cue of when to release the ball. And it's something that a lot of people are not taking advantage of or realizing how helpful this can actually be. If you are constantly shooting slightly early, that means you are releasing this shot slightly early. So that means that there's some sort of lag, some sort of latency. You're watching it. You're like, I'm releasing it on the queue every single time and I'm getting slightly early. It's making no sense. If you're releasing it slightly late, you're thinking, wow, I'm just releasing it just after the green zone. Like this is causing me a crazy issue. Well, the visual cue can help, right? So there's always some sort of latency here when it comes to the actual shot. How I like to figure this out, I'm always a slightly early person. Why? Because there's a lag on the system when I'm playing 5v5. There's a lot of users being played. There's always some latency issue. So what I do to combat this is I move my visual cue after the actual set point. So how does that help me? I release the ball on my set point of exactly what I'm focused in on, but the latency issue actually carries it just after the actual set point. This has helped me green a lot more shots, shoot a lot more consistency, because essentially I'm playing into the actual latency issues. And that's why this has been so help helpful. A lot of people, you know, if you have super high internet or you're only playing 1v1 modes or 2v2 modes, the latency isn't as big. So you, this may be not work for you, but people who are playing 5v5, there's a lot of lag. There's a lot of latency in those servers combat that by moving your visual cue just after or just before the set point if you're somebody who's always shooting slightly late i would do the opposite i would move it just before your actual visual visual cue that's going to move your green window your perfect green window just before it and it's going to fix your late latency lag issues there so that's a huge tip that i could help you out on there I, I, it's something that has drastically helped my shooting and it's something that I really like that 2K added. And just to let you know, I know there's a lot of people who are very much so on the high risk reward settings because that's what people put out. 2K Labs has put out. It works if you have no latency issues. If you have really good internet, if you are not playing game modes in which 10 people are in the game and you can actually have no latency, high risk reward is great. But if you're in any sort of game with a lot of people or you have lower internet, it's not going to be beneficial for you to play on high risk reward. It's going to be more beneficial for you to play on normal risk reward. Your green window is going to be bigger. You're going to hit slightly late, slightly early. Stop wasting your time playing on high risk reward when you know you're going to have latency issues because the green window may be bigger, but it is a lot tighter and a lot smaller on high risk reward. So I hope that helps for you all. Do not forget to like, subscribe, move your visual cue around. It will help you out drastically. Peace.